let's find the angle x to find the angle inside a right angle triangle we are going to consider sokatoa the first step is to identify the opposite here the opposite is not given next we are going to identify the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is the side facing this right angle here it is the square root of 2 next the adjacent automatically becomes the remaining side which is the square root of 6 this is step number 2 step number 1 is identifying the formula to use to find the angle the next step is to recognize that the opposite which is this side is not given in this sokatoa sign got opposite then i will not use sign tan also has opposite i will not use tan i will go for cosine because it has adjacent and hypotenuse then the cosine of this angle x is adjacent which is the square root of 6 divided by the hypotenuse which is the square root of 2 next here i will have that cos x is i'm going to rationalize this to have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 next i will have that cos x is this times this will give you the square root of 12 divided by root 2 times root 2 will give you 2 next we are looking for the angle x cos we move across and become cos inverse of the square root of 12 divided by 2 next the square root of 12 can be split down to have 12 2 we go into 12 6 2 we go into 6 3 and 3 we go into 3 1 next this 2 got pay 2 is free 3 has no pay and we put it in root form 2 multiplied by the square root of 3 is the same thing as the square root of 12 another way you can do this is thinking of all the factors of 12 we have 2 we have 3 we have 6 we have 4 and we also have 12 2 can go into 12 without a remainder 3 can go into 12 without a remainder 4 can go into 12 without a remainder 6 can go into 12 without a remainder and 12 can go into 12 without a remainder but which of these combinations when we multiply them will give us 12 2 times 3 can give us 12. 3 times 4 can give us 12. And 2 times 6 can also give us 12. If we decide to use 3 times 4, which is the same thing as the square root of 12, we can apply the law of sword that says the square root of 3 times the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. And this is root 3. And if we decide to go with 2 times 6, we are going to have root 2 times root 6. And we are going to have root 2 times root 2 times root 3. Because inside this, I can have 2 times 3 to give us 6. And here I have root 2 times root 2 is 2 and here I have root 3 if you decide to go with this method this is fine 
and if you decide to go with this method this is also fine but in place of the square root of 12 i'm going to have 2 multiplied by the square root of 3 and our x becomes the cos inverse of 2 multiplied by the square root of 3 divided by 2 in bracket next this 2 we take away this 2 and our x becomes the cos inverse of the square root of 3 leaving your answer in sort form without the use of calculator